Okay, good morning YouTube. This is a starting video on an air horn project. I uh, seen uh, your beekeeper put air horns in his Suburban and then after about the third or fourth person is pulled out in front of my old red Ford not watching I decided to put a set of air horns in it maybe I can wake up the idiots but I got some pieces together here anyway got this little air tank that I've had sitting around for a while I think it'll be a pretty nice uh, air tank for in uh, in the Ford there it's got a I put a uh, quick connect on this side here it's got nice little rubber feet on it, or I can use them as mounts. But we got the air tank there. Then I hit eBay, and I picked up this little air compressor here. This is a uh, Monroe Max Air. It was for a air air ride system, and I've already added a few uh, brass fittings here and a and an air gauge. I picked that up at uh, Harbor Freight, and I tested it to make sure it works. So we've got the tank, and we've got the compressor. Then I uh, took apart an old air compressor I had down in the shop, and got the pressure switch, and a T-fitting, and an airline. There. And that works, I tested it. And then we got the, the horns. It's a set of a Grover 1650 truck tone air horns, 15 inch and 13 inch, and they are loud. Tested them out too. So uh, that's the beginning of the project. Got uh, got the main pieces there. I'm going to have to get some airline to run for the horns. And these horns do have a pull valve on them. Now I think, I, uh, think I'm going to try and work with the pull valve. And maybe run a cable. And a pedal like uh, the beekeeper did. So that's my, my eBay and shop junk. That I'm going to turn into an air horn and uh, and a little bit of service air system for my old 91 Ford. So that's the beginning of the project. I just figured I'd get this video up and let you guys see what I had and what was going on. Okay. Now let's see here. I've got a pretty good idea how I want to put this together. And I think that this compressor it's got three mounting holes here here and here I can't match that one but I think these two will match up with the top plate on the tank so let's see if that works out that would be great if it did that would be a nice solid mount so let's see here uh, we want it this this way I think Yes, this way. Do one of that way. Because I want to put the pressure switch over here. So let's see here. Let's put the pressure switch on, then we'll get the we'll get the compressor set. And it does look like those mounting holes will fit. And I'm kind of working inside the house today, not down in the shop, because I got so much junk on the bench I can't even see it. And it's cold, and I've caught a cold, and uh, really don't want to go back out in the cold and get it worse. So we're working inside here today. So a little bit of Teflon tape here, and I think we can just put this T fitting, same as it was on the compressor it came off of, and the compressor was bad on that one. That's the reason I stole the pressure switch off it. Someone ran it out of oil, and it weren't me. So. Another 
just wrap some Teflon tape here so we get a good seal. And wrapping Teflon tape, always make sure you go in the direction you're going to thread so it doesn't come off. I did do a little thinking on this beforehand of how I wanted to put it together. So I do have an idea as far as where I want things to go. I think we can make another revolution with this. Get her tight. I got these ratchet wrenches up at Harbor Freight too, and uh, there's some stuff at Harbor, up at Harbor Freight that ain't that great, but I love these wrenches. I put some serious pressure on them, and they haven't let me down yet. And they got a nice fine ratchet on them. You don't have to move very far. I think we're gonna use the old old channel locks for this. so that pressure switch is straight. That looks like a good position there. Now, that looks like it's going to turn out right about where I want it. Now, let's see if this here compressor is going to fit these mounting holes. If not, we'll have to get a drill. I got some quarter inch bolts here. Just quarter 20. Hope they're long enough. Look like it will be. Alright, see if we can get lucky. It looks like we did. Oh, that'll work perfect. Okay, do I got enough washers here? Oop, dropped a nut. Hate when that happens. Uh, especially in here when I got all this junk laying around. We're going to have to find another nut, it looks like. Unless I can hunt that one out. Okay, we got a lock washer and a flat washer. We don't got much room to play with here, but I think this is going to work pretty well. Hold two washers and a nut in place under here. Here's the two washers. Smart, pull the other bolt, slide this out where I can work. 
There we go. Drop the other bolt in on the other side there. It does fit these mounts. So that will work nicely. Now let me go see if I can find that other nut. Since I don't think I have any spares. Let me just pause you guys for a moment here. Okay. Found the other nut. Got the compressor mounted. And let's see if this airline will reach. If not, I might have to find a different one, but it looks like it's going to be just long enough. It's actually a hydraulic line, but it works well enough for air. Uh, let's see. What size wrenches do we need here? That there one. I think. some Teflon tape on this. There's already some on it, but it's not gonna not gonna work for a second time around. That will throw off the old compressor. Let's see. Perfectly. Where's my nine sixteenths? Probably gonna have to hold that so I can rotate it. may be a little difficult. Not much flex in the hose. But I don't want it too long. Nor do I want it too short. I think once this fitting's actually in here. a little bit more of a snug here. Yeah. Let's see, we got our air gauge, line hooked up, pressure switch, 
I think the tank is sealed. So let's get a battery and give this thing a whirl. These will be a little better connection when it's actually on, but see if she holds pressure. I know the compressor runs because I tested it. So. She is building pressure. Kicked off at a hundred. Well, she works. Now, all we gotta do is see about getting it into the truck. I don't have line for the horns yet, so I blow or I blow them for you. <laughs> uh, but there's the compressor setup. Not bad for the about, you know. It didn't even really warm up too much. That's good. That ought to work well. And it's holding pressure right on 100. So it shouldn't have to work too hard. Well, that's the setup so far. Initial, initial put together and build of the air horn compressor so we'll leave it there for today and i'll be back when i get further on it see you later youtube